Royals hosting the Astros, and the Astros are minus 205 on the money line. The Royals are plus 172. Over under, nine and a half runs. The Astros laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 128, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two. And the Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 106, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. These are the overnight odds. They will change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who continues to join the Discord. If you have not yet, please go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Underneath the membership tab, you'll see one that says $14.99. When you subscribe to that one or join that one, you'll get an email with the link to my Discord, and it'll have my best picks in there. I post every day, and then I put win, lose, or draw. You will see how I did. Oh, for most people who have been in there, their membership's already been paid for. Uh, now, Javier did pitch once against the Royals last year. Five innings, five runs, five earned. They lost that game 7-4, to four, and he struck out seven batters in that game. They are 4-1 and one in his last five starts. He's averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and 4.4 strikeouts per game in those games with an ERA of 3.6. The over is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. Now, the Royals are throwing Granky. They were supposed to throw him... A few days ago, I want to say, and they just decided to swap him out last minute. They're one and four in his last five starts. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 2.2 strikeouts per game in those games. He's got an ERA of 2.8. They've lost his last two starts. And the under is three and two in his last five. He has pitched against his old team. I believe it was before he got traded to the Astros because I believe he went from the Astros from the D-backs to the Astros. Um, he averages six innings pitched, six hits, 1.7 earned runs, 5.3 strikeouts, two walks, and 100 pitches. And he hasn't seen that in a long time. And like I said, this is going back to 2018 when he was like more peak cranky than he is right now. Head-to-head, the home team is 6-4. and four. The Astros are 7-3. and three. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs are 5-5. Five and five. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings, one in their last four. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the over 9.5 runs is 6-4. and four. And the wind in Kansas City will be blowing out to start the game at like 7 miles an hour, and it dies down to like 6, but it's still going to be blowing out for most of the game. They haven't played each other this year. They played a four-game set the last series last year. The Astros took three out of four, winning 7-6, seven, 9-7, seven, then losing 7-4, and then winning 5-2. The Astros are 6-4 and four in their last 10. They just find a way to lose to teams sometimes that they should beat. They lost two out of three to the A's. The under is hitting their last three games, while the over is 6-4. and four. And for the Royals, they're 2-2 two and two in their last four. And the under is 5-3-2. and two. Uh, Beating the White Sox in the last two games that they played, 11-10 and 7-1. Astros with the money line, Astros laying the runs, and the over, I imagine they're going to get to Granky early and they're going to chase him. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.